Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last episode was probably the most intense so far. I can't wait to see what happens next. So no more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that, get down with that. Everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Wait. What? Uh, are you sure you should continue? Yeah? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. What? What are you talking about, girl? Are you sure you should continue? What if I click no? Now what? You gonna say something? You gonna backsass me? Oh, you're deviant now, aren't you? Okay, so we are gonna continue. Heartful, mournful, regretful, reflective. Reflective. You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. Depressed, doubtful, pessimistic. They all sound bad. I guess doubtful? I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but... Everything around me keeps falling apart. Advice, big decision, angry. Let's see what he has to say about the big decision. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. What does that mean? I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. Despairing, emotional, lost. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. He called him dad when Carl died? I thought that was very interesting. Hey, this bitch. Are you serious? Bro, he's my dad. So go home. You ain't visiting daddy. I'm daddy now. I should have been given the choice to punch him or something. Would have punched him straight in that crooked nose. Would have fixed that thing too. Ooh. He's the reason why we were in that mess in the first place. While we have like two eyes and two peg legs. And now we're in a church. Because we blew up Jericho. That was some intense stuff right there. That was insane. Oh, I still have the detonator. Don't do it. Don't you do it, Marcus. He's thinking about it. Talk to your people. Apologize to Kara. Decide Connor's fate. Decide Connor's fate? He's gonna live. He's gonna live all day. Decide Connor's fate. You got me fucked though. Situation, survivors, wound, camps. Situation. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. Mm. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. Survivors? How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I don't know if I love you yet. Like, we just became lovers. But I guess he loves you, too. 
Wink at her. Do it like Connor. Just give her the wink. You know, just a little bit, just a little, you know? For me, Marcus. You can't even do it for me, Marcus. Fine. I'm gonna go talk to Kara. Lover. See you later, lover. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. <laughs> you think? You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Yep, gotta get to Canada. Marcus. Save our people. Decide Connor's fate. Where is Connor? There you are, Connor. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. Hmm. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Of course I'm gonna trust him. Come on, guys. We've been on this whole journey with all three of these characters. You think I'm just gonna let Connor go just like that? You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Of course. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You wanna infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. No, 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 let them do it. Ability. This is gonna be so cool. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I'm excited. Connor's gonna do a little sneaky sneaky. Talk to my people. All right, yo, listen up, people. I gotta tell you something. Where can I tell them something? Right here in the middle? All right, everybody, everybody in the church, can I get a hallelujah? Oh, can I, can I get a hallelujah? Oh, I gotta speak from up here, okay. Humans have I decided speak from above to exterminate us. Got it. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Yeah. Public opinion is supportive, okay. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities, or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Hell to the no! We're gonna go with the first one. I know. I know you're all angry. Yeah. And I know you wanna fight back. But I assure you violence is not the answer here. Mm -mm. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. We want that justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. They will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Continue to fight. I'll stop, I'll stop. Are you ready to follow me? Yeah! Can we just get some hallelujahs, please? Fine, we'll get some yes. Yeah! I said, hey, yeah! Hey, hey, yeah! Marcus! Marcus! Oh, the chance stop? That's awkward. That's so awkward. Knight of the Soul, Marcus. Marcus chose to protest for his people. Well,. That was a pretty short chapter, so let's continue. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Who the fuck Civilian is that, Hillary Clinton? will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. 
All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. Oh, you think In you're cool? In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Yeah, Temporary right. Temporary camps are being Got set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Blah, 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 blah. Please. Yeah, right. Who are we playing as? Please. What? Madam President. Okay. Public opinion. Madam President. Public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants. I swear to God, that's Hillary Clinton, man. A peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Please? Deviant Please? leader hacking, worrying Madam theft. President. Intelligent life? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. That's it? Madam President! Deviant leader. Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Hacking. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Hmm, okay, Please? deviants. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. When she says that will be all, why do they all stand up and start asking a million questions like she's just gonna stop and say, you know what, fine. I'll answer all these questions. Yes. Connor model 313. Yes! yes! We're gonna sneak! Oh, I'm so excited. That's my favorite thing to do in video games. Be sneaky sneaky. You guys know that. I gotta be stealthy. You know I love that shit. Let's go, man. All right. Can't mess up here. Gotta focus, Jay. Eyes on the prize, baby. Eyes on the prize. I mean, we're a deviant, but we gotta act like we're still a normal android. So we gotta choose the most PC we'll answers. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Okay. Follow the guard. Okay, that's my only mission. Just follow this guy. He's rubbing those hands together like a boss. I love Connor. My favorite. It's a toss-up. Him and Kara, they're a tie for my favorite. Agent 47? What? Hitman's here? Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Warehouse 49. Reach warehouse on level 49. I can do that. Neutralize the guards? Okay. Um... You know what? Let's see this. Let's do a sweeping leg kick. Right? And he shot me first. Okay. I guess I gotta go for the closer guy first. So we're gonna go for you. And then... We'll go for you with the kick! Yes! Easy does it. Let's do it. Oh yeah! Kick that ass! Whoa! Nope! Oh, you thought! Get off me! Come on! Go, Connor! Woo! Smooth. So smooth. Please indicate your identity and destination. 
Who? Agent 54 voice. Agent 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Thank you. Access authorized. Whew. West Side Industrial, Detroit. Reach the bus terminal. The last bus so I'm playing as two people minutes. at the same time again. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Okay. 19 minutes for the bus. We could do it. Are you alright? I'm, I'm really cold. Aw. Leave on. Oh, crap. Ooh. Leave on. She'll be alright. She's not really gonna get sick. Gun. I'll take that gun. Grab the gun. I'm grabbing that thing. You think I'm gonna leave a perfectly loaded gun on the floor like that? Yeah, right. Come on. We're in the streets of Detroit. Here. Everybody got a gun. No. Please don't hurt me. Shut up on your knees. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Yeah. Stay close to me. I'm going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill oh me! Boy. I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my guts off. It's going to take weeks to clear the There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. I got you. Come on, get moving. Now. Hurry up, get in. Come on. Whoa. Look over there. It's Luther. No. No. I can't leave him. Save Luther. I got this. Okay, let's go. I can't leave him, guys. Luther's cool. He's so cool. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- order to check all civilians. No. no! No! Please! You were lying, dude! Oh, shit! Yo, that android was a liar! Fucking androids. He said I got a family at home. Okay. Uh. Now. Find a weapon. Brick? Okay. Hopefully my aim's good. Approach slowly. Oh. Okay. Okay. Slowly, 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 slowly! Carol! You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Thank you. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Luther's back! Alice! <laughs> Luther! Woo! Oh, I thought you were I dead. was not gonna leave him, guys. Hell no. I was afraid I'd never see you again. Oh. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Okay, now we gotta go. We can't save anybody else. 
Whoa. Don't look this way. Whoa. What the hell's he doing? Okay. Go. Damn, Luther's big as fuck. How's he gonna sneak? This dude's as tall as Big Boy. As soon as you turn around, I'm gone. Go. Bro, Luther's so huge. <laughs> How the hell are we gonna do this? Okay. Once he turns around, we run. Okay, guys? The moment he turns around. Go. Go. Let's go. Who's that? No, not more people I have to care about. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. Checkpoint risky. The other one's gonna be three minutes. Okay. Uh... Fuck. Where's the other way? Detour safer. 11 minutes. Should we go risky? Fuck. I don't even know. Let me just go this way. The bus leaves in 9 minutes though? Shit. Okay, we gotta go risky. Guys. Everybody buckle up. We can do this. Just be cool. I don't like humans who carry guns. We're good. We're they good. Make we're me good. Nervous. Luther, don't. Just stay calm. All right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. Yeah, please, please. ID, please. Here you go. You like what you see? You do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Maybe. Be ready. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something She's wrong? She's cold. She's cold. She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You yeah, should hurry sure. on home. Thanks. Please. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. No. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. No. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. I knew Thank it. You. I knew it. Come on now. You're welcome. Come on, Luther. You're too paranoid, man. I got this. Come on, man. You know me. I got this. Let's We're go. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids Woo! are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. March toward the camp. There's no way that they're going to kill us this time. Our public opinion is supportive. You know? Like, if they kill us, then the humans are going to be the big enemy here. In the public side. Because we did nothing wrong. We fought nobody. 
We took like the full pacifist route. And I'm proud of that. I'm glad that every choice I made had nothing to do with violence. So if they kill us now, then they're the ones who are fucking up, not us. Here we are. The moment of truth. They're not. We got this. We're gonna call their bluff. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now. Whoa! Oh, I thought he was gonna run people over. There's no turning back now. Come. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Fire! No! Dude! Fire! Are you kidding me, man? Wow. Raise hands. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Here we go. Connor's gotta do the dirty work. Whoa. What? Connor? Shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. Nice. I didn't know I had to press all those buttons. I was confused at first. Convert androids. My pleasure. Look at this, guys. Holy crap. This is a long-ass line of androids. My god. We got this. You're free. Easy. Piece of shit. Whoa. Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> Not Hank. Not Hank. The bus terminal. Come on, man. Nothing is ever we easy. We arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Okay, I'm pretty sure I gotta get a ticket from somebody. They're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. Okay, okay, okay. Check. 
I think Oliver likes you. How do you know he's sleeping? Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Of course a ticket falls out. You gotta be kidding me. So we got one. Now we need two more. Adult ticket. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, come on. Oh, never mind. Come on. I don't even know these people. Fuck it, we're gonna keep it. No. Sorry. I don't even know them, guys. What are we gonna do? I care about Kara and yeah, Alice and Luther. Here. Who the fuck are these people? We have to find a safe place for Oliver. Nah, I'm bro. So sorry, honey. I, I gotta be a happened. savage, guys. I gotta be a bag. beast. I... Come on, Alice. Catch the bus. Show tickets. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Guys, I didn't even know them. Who are those people? I didn't even know they existed 30 seconds ago. It was fate that they dropped those tickets. Come on now. Don't give me that sass in the comments. You want Kara and Alice to be okay? All right then. Get in the damn bus. You too, Luther. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Man, they'll be all right. Will they die because of us? Uh, honest. We had to make a choice, Alice. It was them or us. You'll thank me later, Alice. I did the right thing, right, Luther? You too? Big Luth? Come on, Luth! Are you kidding me? Everybody's mad at me. Who are those people? I don't care about them, man. Yeah, you guys with the baby, I don't care about you guys. We had to do what we had to do. Our mission was to get on the bus, and I got them on the bus. Case closed. Fight me. Sue me. Do whatever you got to do. They got on that bus. That's all that matters. Reinforced barricade. Okay. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! I'm still thinking about that choice that I made. I made the right choice. I know I did. I do not regret that at all. We had to find bus tickets, and that's exactly what we did. Right. That should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah, me too. Support your people, check soldiers. Okay. Everybody good? Everybody got snacks and drinks? The 
humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Bree. Oh. Nice. Support your people. I'm trying, but I don't know how. This won't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Humans, other groups, camp. No getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Hmm. Desperate? I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Get a room, guys. Stay connected. No, Marcus. Don't. Put it back. Marcus. Marcus, come look. Talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. They do. I don't trust it. I'm on arm, Marcus. I'm not I going. I want to talk. You got me fucked up. Hell no. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, isn't that what you want? Uh, I don't trust a man. I gave you my answer. He seems like a snake. You wanna play it like that? Yeah, I wanna play it okay. like that. What you gonna do about it? I don't trust him, guys. The way he said that, I don't just want to tag. I won't try anything on you. Get out of here. You think I'm dumb? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Life is in your hands. Connor. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Come on, Connor. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Guarantee, Hank, bluff, convince. Convince. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. <laughs> But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Whoa, no! Please, please, please. I'm sorry, Hank. 
You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. No, no, no. Are you going to save your partner's life? No, no, no. Or are you going to sacrifice him? Fuck. I'm going to save Hank. All right. All right. You win. Whoa. Shoot. Whoa! Oh shit, what the hell is that? I've never seen that one before! Oh, let's go. You wanna go? Come on! You think I'm scared of you? Nope. I'm not missing anymore, baby. Come on now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Hank, a little help here! Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. No, 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 Get no. Get rid no. of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? No. What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Nope. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. No! He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Oh no, man, come on. My son, what's his name? Oh my god, I have no clue. Cole? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. <laughs> That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. <gasps> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Let's go! Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Oh man, that got me. Damn, thank you. I didn't know the son's name, but then I saw that thing unlock and I was like, okay, that's gotta be it. Alright, let's try this one again. Time to wake up. Wake up! Wake up, 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 wake up. Wow. US Canada border. All right. Get them across, guys. We got this.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. What? How do I get to Canada? Across the border. This way, please. We can do it. All androids are strictly forbidden. If you suspect any passenger, we're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? I have Don't no worry, clue. Alice. We'll be fine. Let it come to that. What am I gonna do? Look for help. Okay. I can't move. Uh, I can't move. What do I do? Rose. Rose. What the hell? Can I look? It says look for help. Jerry? ID, please. You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh, wow. Find a discreet place. Where would that be? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Please contact We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Brother, control, revolution, departure. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Control? They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Brother? You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. 
You'll be safe with him. All right. Let's do this, guys. <sighs> Let's make it across the border. We can do this. <sighs> Goes nothing. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. <sighs> How are we going to do this? Make a decision. What? What do you mean sacrifice people? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sacrifice self, sacrifice Luther, sacrifice Jerry, no sacrifice. Uh <laughs> I'm not gonna sacrifice myself, and I'm not gonna sacrifice Luther. Oh my god. What do you mean sacrifice Jerry? Like, what does that even mean? Am I gonna say, hey, he's an android, and then when they all pin him down, then what? They're gonna destroy him, but then I still have to go through the check anyway, and then it's just gonna cause a scene. Fuck. Oh my god, dude. No sacrifice? Next, please. ID, please. Please. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. You guys don't know how hard North. my heart was beating during that moment. Oh, shit! I didn't have my hands on the controller. I got scared. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Get him! 
Go! Come on, dude. Kiss North? Right here, right now? Let's get it. Yes. Tell them to stand down. November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Absolutely. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are.
Connor? Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You what accomplished you about? your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Oh no. Oh no. By the way, I always think I want to see a sort of programs. Yeah. You never know. Come on, 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 come on. Can I go under here? Fuck! Oh please. What's that? I see it! The time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. No! In fact, we're a nation. No! I see it! Right there. That's gotta be it. Connor, don't do it, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. You got this, dude. Come on! Fuck! Yes! The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, dude. we must make them our partners. So many butt-clenching moments, man. Friends. My heart can't take it. the time for anger is over. <sighs> now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Yeah. Come on, start chanting. We are alive. We are alive. Come on, say it with me now. Come on, all in unison. We are alone. Man, you guys suck. Where are they gonna live though? There's so many of them, you know? Like what now? Connor? Oh, okay. I thought Connor was going to do something again. It's over, Alice. We're free. You're free. Oh, I'm so happy for them. You too, Luther. Come on, group hug. Did it, guys. Those were some tough choices there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Every choice that car had to make, that was insane. I was so scared. Ah, uh, what a great game. What a great game. Best game I've played in 2018 so far, hands down. Hands down. Best Quantic Dream game I've ever played hands down too. Like, where do I begin? The story was amazing. The people in the game, like the people who played Connor, Marcus, and Kara, all amazing. Like, I really did feel like every choice mattered. And it wasn't just the same thing, but just different dialogue, you know? Like, I really feel like every single choice you did had an effect in the game. Because remember what happened when I was interrogating that one android? He shot Connor right in the head and I said, nope. 
I redid that whole thing, and then I ended up saving Connor. Like, every choice matters in this game, and I love that. But let me know what you guys think about this whole series in the comments. Do you guys think that I made all the right choices? Was this the best ending that I could have gotten? Because I feel like it was. I think out of all the endings, Connor was the one that was the least happiest because he was about to kill Marcus. He was about to assassinate that ass. But I think that Kara, Alice, Luther, Marcus, and all the other people, I think that they got the best ending possible. But for some reason, I feel like Connor could have had a better ending. And what's this? Hank? My dude? Ha! Best buds back together again. Haha. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for Connor to get that happy ending. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the Detroit series. If you guys enjoyed this whole series and want me to go through it again and make some other choices that I didn't make before, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!